So every once in a while we get to make another rant and I made like 20 of these this week. But here's the thing, the iPhones for some reason, Apple is slowly kind of ruining what we've kind of loved about these specific devices. Now with the iPhone 13s, there's already some issues going on with like I've mentioned. But the bigger issue at hand is something that's affecting pretty much all the iPhones right now, which is iOS 15. Apple has been very, very slow into updating the iOS 15 software. Now with iOS 14, Apple did a decent job. It's still not the best. I think iOS 11, iOS 12, and even iOS 13, and there were updates all of the time. And then iOS 14, it's totally understandable because of the pandemic. But then with iOS 15, we've kind of gotten custom to it. And there really isn't a crazy big reason why they're super Super slow in terms of these updates, but not only are they super slow for iOS updates, they're also very slow for macOS updates and Apple Watch updates as well. That really doesn't make too much sense to me, and Apple is slowly kind of, you know, making it so, and Apple is kind of making it weird because, yes, the phones are now getting, you know, longer software support, but they're getting less updates than they used to get just from the last couple of iPhones ago. Now, another big thing that happened the other day is that apparently Apple is no longer pushing security updates for iOS 14. Now, this is a really annoying issue. With iOS 15, it really wasn't that big of an update, so I was kind of telling people across the last couple of weeks especially the last couple of months, to stick with iOS 15. There isn't a crazy big reason to go to iOS 15 if you're on iOS 14, just because of similarities. There's so many similarities between software that it doesn't really make too much to go to that next version of software yet. And in terms of now, it makes even less sense because there are more and more issues that happen, and Apple is even slower and slower in pushing out updates. Now, currently we're on iOS 15.2.1, and that was an update that was like weeks in between iOS 15.2. Previously, I think it was iOS iOS 13, iOS 12, Apple was pushing out updates like every week or every other week. It was so crazy how great of a job Apple was doing at that time. And if you remember, iOS 12 was a pretty stable update. iOS 14 was also a pretty stable update. With iOS 14, this is where things started changing up a little bit, but this was also understandable because it was kind of like the height of the pandemic. Right now, again, we've been in this pandemic for a couple of years now, and it's weird that you know Apple is still very slow in these updates. Now here's some perspective. iOS 15.2 came out and January 12th, iOS 15.2 came out December 13th. So there was like a month, almost a month in between those updates. The previous version before that was iOS 15.1.1, the previous update before that was like a month before that too. And then I think iOS 14.8.1 came out in October 26th. So I just don't understand what Apple is doing. You know, iOS 15.1 came out in October 25th and we are in January 17th and we are on iOS 15.2.1. That was like two updates ago and we are still stuck in this update. So it makes no sense. Apple is very slow in pushing out updates right now and it's slowly kind of ruining the experience a lot of people are having with their iPhones right now. So I'd love to hear you guys as a opinion on this let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then